intricate designs on the skin. Hundreds of tattoo artists are showing off their talents in Fresno. Our Carolyn Brooke takes us live inside the fascinating world of body art. Also ahead, we're also celebrating the Valley's diverse and rich Asian American culture today. Find out about Asian Fest 2011 at Fresno City College and watch an expert sushi artist prepare some fancy and appetizing treats. Plus, Sweet 15, Latin American style. We're going to show you some hip, new quinceanera gals and find out where you need to be this weekend for the Quinceanera Expo. We are Fresno Live. Starts right now. This is We Are Fresno, live on KZ24, news that matters. And hello and welcome to We Are Fresno Live. For more than two months now, we've been celebrating the people and organizations and events that capture the spirit of the Central Valley here on KC24, and we're doing it every weekday at 4. And today, we're celebrating the many rich cultures that make the Central Valley so special for all of us who call it home. This afternoon on our program, we're honoring the diverse and rich Asian American culture, celebrating the traditional Latin American or uh, Latin American quinceanera, and focusing on the f fascinating world of tattoos, Steph. But we begin with a look at the top stories, making headlines all around the valley and the world. After months of anticipation, the wedding of the century is now in the history books. Catherine Middleton married Prince William this morning in front of some two billion witnesses worldwide. From the moment she was spotted on her drive to the Abbey, Catherine Middleton looked every inch the princess. From the tiara on loan from the queen to her three-yard train, the elegant lace and silk Sarah Burton design gown left crowds gasping. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Well-wishers from around the world lined up at least ten deep on the streets. It was an incredible experience, the whole thing. Characters were beautiful, the suits were beautiful, Kate looked amazing. While inside the Abbey, 1,900 fashionable guests gathered to watch the pair exchange vows. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. I, Catherine Elizabeth. Once man and wife, the couple climbed into an open-topped carriage, the same one used by William's parents for the mile-long procession. Nowhere in the world. It's only in England, and it's only in London that can do this. At Buckingham Palace, the storybook wedding was sealed with two kisses on the balcony. A blushing William and his bride delighted onlookers. Absolutely beautiful. NASA delayed today's scheduled launch of the Space Shuttle Endeavour because of a technical problem. The six astronauts had just waved goodbye and boarded a van to the launch pad. When officials called it off, NASA discovered a problem with a unit that provides hydraulic power to steer the shuttle's main engine. Officials still haven't said when Endeavour will now launch, but they did say it would not be before Monday afternoon. The President and First Lady traveled to a tornado ravaged Alabama today. More than 300 people have lost their lives, 200 of them in Alabama alone. The president promised that the federal government would do everything it could to assist in the recovery. And tonight on NBC Nightly News at 5.30, Brian Williams will report from Alabama on the aftermath of the deadly tornadoes. Meanwhile, Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama has been designated a staging area for federal tornado relief efforts. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, has set up its operations at the base. The American Red Cross is also responding with nurses, mental health workers, and emergency response vehicles. And joining us now from the newsroom is Jane Fortune. She's the Community Partners Director of the American Red Cross Central Valley. Jane, welcome to the show. Thank you. The need must be so overwhelming right now. How is the Red Cross addressing disaster relief over there? Well, the first thing is is that uh, people are using our shelters. Over 2,700 people used a Red Cross shelter yesterday in 12 states. So we are there first to provide shelter and then to provide food and other relief items for all of these people. How are our local chapters helping those in that area? The local disaster volunteers are on alert right now. They have not been deployed, but they are ready when they are needed. So locally, how can we contribute to the Red Cross? And when doing so, how fast will that money get to 
the devastated areas. You can go online at, to ARC Central Valley and donate at the website and you may designate it, the money to go exactly where you would like it to go. It can go to the disaster uh, in, in the south right now is the most urgent need. You can also call at, at the Red Cross office and the money will get there immediately. Jane Fortune for the Red Cross, thank you so much for joining us today. If you would like to contribute to the relief efforts, go to the Central Valley Red Cross website. The address is arccentralvalley.org, or you can donate by calling 455-1000, 455, 1000, 455 1000. Still ahead on We Are Fresno Live. Have you ever thought about getting a tattoo, Seth? Um, I might have thought about it. <laughs> but haven't followed through with it. Well, if you have, Alex or anyone, this weekend is when you'll have a chance to be inspired by hundreds of tattoo artists. They're getting ready for the annual Fresno Tattoo Convention. And right ahead, our Carolyn Brock will introduce us to one local tattoo artist. This is We Are Fresno, live with Stephanie Bruzian, Alex Delgado, and the entire KC's 24 News team, bringing you the people, places, and spirit of the valley. Now, we are Fresno Live. KC 24 News is brought to you in part by Toyota. Oh, honey, we've got tickets to the game, so we're going to need a sitter on Saturday night. I almost forgot. We're having dinner together on Friday for Dad's 65th birthday. Maybe I'll ask my parents to babysit. Are you sure you want to go there? You're right. Born to be wild. Who's going to watch them? For you, babysitting is just a figure of speech. That's why we've created Medicare solutions that are just right for you. We have plans with monthly premiums as low as zero dollars, the freedom to choose any doctor who accepts Medicare, and that lets you talk to a live person when you call. 65, it's just a number, so remember to call ours when you're ready to talk. Call Anthem today at 1-877-222-5398. That's 1-877-222-5398. Now through May 7th, KFC has an amazing deal for you and your family. An eight-piece meal for just $14.99. Eight pieces of freshly cooked chicken, fried, grilled, or some of each, plus large mashed potatoes and gravy, large coleslaw, and four biscuits, all just $14.99. A price so low we can offer it only through May 7th. An eight-piece meal just $14.99 from KFC. Sagat rated the best fried chicken in America in the 2010 National Restaurant Chain Survey. Today tastes so good. This Tuesday at 9, 8 central. Come on, let's get up! Four music superstars search for the next great voice continues. He'll find out when I pull the trigger. Wow, I was not expecting that. Discover the show that's redefining singing competitions. Ow! So come and join the fun. And see you Tuesday. The Voice, this Tuesday, 9, 8 central on NBC. From KC24, this is We Are Fresno, live. The 7th Annual Fresno Tattoo Convention gets underway tomorrow, so we sent out Carolyn Brock out to the Red Wave Tattoo on North Blackburn and Fresno on a very tough assignment. We wanted to see if Carolyn would find out what's on tap this weekend, but also if she would consider getting a tattoo. Hi, Carolyn. You know, Steph, I was considering getting a tattoo. The problem, they're just so permanent, but I didn't want to disappoint you, so I did get some really lovely body art. It's uh, not finished yet, but we'll get to that in a second. And that really is what the tattoo convention this weekend's all about. It's not just about tattoos, it's about the body art, and it's also about the art. I'm standing here with uh, Rico Saldivar from Red Wave. You're one of the organizers of this, this weekend event. Talk about what it's about, because it really isn't just about tattoos. No, it's actually about all mediums of art. I think anybody who appreciates art is going to appreciate this show. Um, not only are we having the graffiti panels, all the artists from around the world will be bringing several different mediums of art to uh, put out its show, including a live body art show with Salon Navar, Stylist, and the Red Wave Tattoo Crew. Yeah, because it really is a celebration of all different kinds of art and uh, tattoo artists from all over the world and artists from all over the world. And speaking of 
tattoo art and artist. Should we go inside and finish this up? Let's get that wrapped up. I think Mario is waiting for you. Yes, Mario is waiting for me. And you know, Rico, this has been something that you guys have been planning for over a year, right? Absolutely. We've been we've been working on this since last November. We've uh, we've grown over the past couple years as the host, just to bring you um, a star-studded show from celebrity tattoo artists to local favorites. So. And you know, like I said, again, if you appreciate the art, you're going to appreciate the show. And you're saying it's family, family friendly. As you can see, you don't need to get a tattoo. You can get some body art. This is Mario Ragsdale. You are one of the artists featured um, this weekend. Yep. So talk about what you're looking forward to. Is this your first time at the convention? No. Uh, we've helped the convention go for a lot of years. And uh, I enjoy every time I go out there. I get to see a lot of friends, family, um, other artists we work with and look up to. And it's just a great show to come out to and see. And, and we were talking earlier before, and this is really a great opportunity for you guys also to get to know other artists from around the world and kind of see what they're doing. What are you looking forward to most this year? Uh, a lot of the workshops that the artists have to offer from out of town, like learning trade secrets and uh, stuff like that. So Become better artists. That's what we all want to do is become better artists. And, of course, it is this weekend, and as you can see, there's... Just a lot of fun to be had. I uh, didn't commit to a permanent tattoo, but this is going to be on for quite some time. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll send it back to you. All right, Carolyn, thank you. What a brave girl you are. Although, getting a peacock, very smart. The bosses are watching. Good for you. Okay, the 7th Annual Fresno Tattoo Expo starts tomorrow, April 30th, and it continues through Sunday. The artists, seminars, and shows are all over at the Fresno Convention Center. Check out this site for more information, centralvalleytattoo.com, centralvalleytattoo.com. Stephanie? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Carolyn will start a trend for all of us here <laughs> yeah. at the station. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> well, for many Latin American cultures, a young lady's 15th birthday is celebrated with a coming-of-age party, and it's called a quinceañera or a fiesta quinceañera, and it marks a child's transition to womanhood. Joining me now in Studio B are Armando Valdez and Carla Barraza and uh, some beautiful young ladies and beautiful gowns, and this is all for a special event coming up this uh, weekend. Armando, why don't you tell us? It's Sunday, correct? It's Sunday. Um, we're going to begin the show at 12 at noon, and it's going to go until 4 o'clock, and it's uh, actually the beginning of a series of events happening at Arte Americas. We're okay. going to start in May 1st, and it's going to go all the way to September 30th. And this is a, a Quinceañera Expo. So who is going to be there for the event? Uh, dresses? Dresses, obviously. Yes. Beautiful young ladies, as well as the parents. And we're going to have vendors that provide the different services and products to for Quinceañera. Okay, so for families who are planning a Quinceañera, this is the place to go, really, to get all the details, correct? Exactly. Get, get kind of take a look at some of the dresses that are out there and some of the services that can they can get all right because obviously the dresses the dresses are a huge part of this and Carla why don't you tell me about uh, what you know about you design dresses and tell us about what you have brought here today um, we've brought a few of the um, up-and-coming trends for quinceanera dresses um, this first one is um, a yellow floral design that um, one of the new trends is they're starting to have a um, it's called a convertible dress. Let's see how um, it converts. Where you can wear it like this to the ceremony and part of the reception and then take off the skirt and you have a, a little adorable. party cocktail dress. And it, it really is something you could then use later. Yeah, exactly. You can wear it um, to another party or event later on. Very cute. Another trend is the feathers that, and the crystals that well, are we being saw, used. We saw so much of that today at the royal wedding. Oh, yes. The feathers in the hair as mm -hmm. opposed to a full hat. So, mm -hmm. And that's very cute. Yes. And then we have another one, um, the zebra print. Um, that's really popular right now. The um, animal print. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of girls are starting to wear black, which is very uncommon, but um, it's starting to pick up as a, as a trend. And again, the crystals and the very feathers pretty. for her bouquet. And then we have Maida over here. She's wearing, um, this is an exclusive um, quinceanera gown that we carry at Bar Brothers um, by Bea Serra. It's made in Mexico, and uh -huh. they have um, a lot of details and crystals also on the dress. It's gorgeous. And it's also convertible, so where can, she can wear the corset top with the jeans or skirt later for the um, reception okay. or again later on. Yeah, wonderful. So these are just some of the designs that folks will be able to see and mm -hmm. get some ideas as mm -hmm. they're planning their quinceanera. Mm -hmm. And Sunday, and hopefully you'll have a great turnout. Is yeah. it? Is there a charge to get? No, in? it's completely free. Absolutely for everybody free. To come in. Mm -hmm. All right, Armando and Carla, thank you, and young ladies, you. beautiful ladies, thank you so much for being here. The Quinceanera Expo is Sunday, May 1st, from noon until 4. It takes place at Arte Americas, 1630 Van Ness in downtown Fresno. Well, there is much more ahead on today's program. When we come back, 
Time to celebrate Asian American cultures, and we'll show you what's on tap at Fresno City College this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Valley Crime Stoppers and Table Mountain invite you to get in the driver's seat and burn rubber to June Jam. Saturday, June 4th at the Fig Garden Golf Club. Enjoy live and solid auctions, dinner and dancing. For tickets, call 621-2350. Stephanie's Armenia, KC 24's guide to the people and places of this ancient and mysterious land is now available for purchase on DVD for $18.95. Call 454-2471 or visit the Armenia page of KC24.com to order. His concerts are legendary. A show that has amazed millions on every continent in the world. This is Yanni. Yanni, come hear the music that touches the world. Dandruff, meet microbeads. Any last wishes? New Celsa Blue Deep Cleansing Microbead Scrub goes to the source, wiping out flakes before they flake. New Celsa Blue Deep Cleansing. Get into a new groove this summer with the 2011 KC Concert Series presented by Ashley Furniture. Now on the last Friday of every month at the Farmer's Market in Old Town Clovis. Don't miss all the great food, cold drinks, and hot music featuring great local acts, Valley Cats, 41 Hype, Crossover, Fedra Contreras, and Poor Man's Poison from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Plus C, finalists from Central Valley's top talent perform the 2011 KC Concert Series presented by Ashley Furniture and KC24. Need answers? Here's some expert advice from KC24.com's pros who know. Aggressive driving is not only dangerous, it costs you money in fuel and repairs. Log on to KC24.com slash pros who know for more information. KC24rewards.com, the website that pays you back. From KC24, this is We Are Fresno, live. The annual Asian Fest is this weekend at Fresno City College, and joining me now to talk more about it is Miley Glover. She is the organizer of the community festival, and Chef Sunny Law from the New Boba Island Sushi Table and Tokyo Station Sushi Restaurant. All right, welcome to the show, both of you. It's good to have you. Thank you for having me. All right, us. Sunny, you're going to be showing us uh, some of what you'll be preparing this weekend, right? Because you brought sushi along with you. Uh, uh, a wide variety of, of sushi. Oh, I will be prepared for the uh, dragon roll and red dragon roll and uh, caterpillar roll. Okay, so there's yeah. lots of different types of sushi. Yeah, lots of different kinds of sushi. That you'll and familiarize yeah. ourselves with, that you'll familiarize us with. But let me let me start, M M Miley, mm -hmm. with you. What is on tap for this weekend? Asian Fest is an annual celebration of Asian culture here in Fresno City mm -hmm. at uh, Fresno City College and we bring in uh, volunteers and organizations from the community um, to celebrate uh, their ethnic backgrounds and with performance, with martial arts, with food. We'll have sushi, we're going to have Thai food, Chinese food, Japanese food, oh. Hmong food, Thai, Vietnamese food. So all different types of all cultures types. are being represented. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, yes. And we have That's an Asian great. cultural village around mm -hmm. the fountain, uh, J Japanese village, Chinese, Hmong, Ka uh, La Laotian, Cambodian, a little bit of everything, even a Punjabi village. No kidding. So will there be uh, performances, music as well? We will have four hours of live performance on two different stages. No kidding. Okay, and then I understand there's also a language competition. There's a Mandarin speech competition oh with high schools, Buchanan, McLean, Hoover, Fresno High School, um, Clovis West, and Fresno oh City goodness. College. That's so we'll have over a hundred students uh, competing for medals. Wow, that's going to be exciting. A lot but, happening tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people are drawn by the food. Oh, it's all about the food. Sunny, it's always about the food. Describe to us what you have here for us today. What is this over here? Uh, this uh, they call tiger roll. The mm -hmm. tiger roll. Tiger roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this right over here? This is caterpillar roll. Peter and roll. this is uh, dragon roll. roll. Got it. The caterpillar, caterpillar roll. Yeah. Well, everything looks fantastic. Uh, we all love sushi, so we'll be trying it. And the details... My lead for this weekend. It's at Fresno City College. Tomorrow, Saturday, 9 to 4 p.m. It's a free event. Parking is free. There will be parking at Fresno City College. Please come. And um, martial arts in the morning. We've got a, uh, our main show starts at noon in the 
free speech area and okay. then we have another show around the fountain at about 2.30. So lots of activities going on all until 4 o'clock in the afternoon over at the Fresno City College campus. Remember the event and parking are free so you can't beat that. Thank you exactly. both. Thank you. Here. I Thank appreciate you. it. Okay, Steph. Do you want me to save you the caterpillar roll, Stephanie, or the tiger roll? I'll try one of each. Okay. <laughs> in fact, I'll, I'll just head on over in there okay. in a minute. <laughs> Got Still it. ahead, Ho uh, Hollywood honors one of its legendary actors, and we'll show you the postage stamp honoring the late Academy Award winner, Gregory Peck. My diet? Well, yesterday I had an apple turnover. I know it's sort of my weakness. I always keep it in the house. Well, that and Boston cream pie, white chocolate strawberries, and mmm, key lime pie. Yeah, I've already lost some weight. Yo Play Light, over 30 delicious flavors at about 100 calories. Babe, what are you doing? The Yo Play you love, now in a four pack. Try it today. Jacked up credit, short on cash, so pay, no pay, we can help. Need a car, show us you got a job, and you make at least $1,600 a month, then we've got your car. At Michael Automotive, we get you in, we get you qualified, it's that easy. Want the facts? Call the Michael Automotive 24-hour hotline, 436-0212, or apply online at michaelcredit.com. Michael Automotive, Blackstone and Bullard. Get into a new groove this summer with the 2011 KC Concert Series presented by Ashley Furniture. Now on the last Friday of every month at the Farmer's Market in Old Town Globus. Don't miss all the great food, cold drinks, and hot music featuring great local acts, Valley Cats, 41 Hype, Crossover, Fedra Contreras, and Poor Man's Poison from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Plus see finalists from Central Valley's top talent perform the 2011 KC Concert Series presented by Ashley Furniture and KC24. 2015, 2015, 2015 with no minimum purchase. Get interest-free financing when you take until 2015 to pay. And now there's no minimum purchase required. Every room, whatever you like. Every living room, every dining room, every bedroom. And there's no minimum purchase necessary. Plus you get interest-free financing until 2015. Hurry, this special no minimum purchase offer is for a limited time. And more furniture for less. From KC24, this is We Are Fresno, live. And time now for a check of some of the stories we're working on today. David Marcus is in the newsroom with all the headlines. David? Fresno City Manager is announcing progress on closing the $18.5 million budget gap, but closing it completely may include some last resort options. In a letter to employees, Mark Scott says so far, all but about $5 million is accounted for in the city's current proposal. For that, Scott says, cuts could happen to fire stations and community centers as a last resort, or city employees could make more concessions, or the city could vote again to privatize solid waste. Hundreds of students from all over the valley got hands-on experience with construction tools and equipment today. The fourth annual Construction Career Day at the Fresno Fairgrounds was organized by local contractors. It gives students a chance to learn about construction career opportunities. And Fresno is topping the list of counties for highest concealed weapon carry permits in the state. Kern is number one with more than 3,500 issued last year. Fresno is second at almost 2,000. Tulare is at number five with 1,700. And Madera came in eighth with almost 1,000. That's a look at your headlines at this hour. I'm David Marcus in the newsroom. Let's now send it over to A.J. Fox with your Friday forecast. Thanks, David. And it does look like uh, things are going to start dying down when, uh, in reference to the wind, of course. Let's take a look first off at our temperature currently. It is at 72 degrees. Notice that wind, northwest wind, 20 miles per hour. And we've had 30 mile per hour winds in the valley. And down around Lemoore, uh, even some of the uh, was registering at 40 mile per hour winds. So it's been very strong in the valley. The good news is high pressure is going to start to return. And when it does so, then we're going to see a little less wind, still plenty of sunshine. And that's going to allow our temperatures to warm up some into the 
the weekend. Maybe not so much on Saturday, but certainly it's going to be on Sunday. Take a look at all the wind advisories that we've got uh, across the valley and, of course, down through the Kern County Mountains, etc. And we're talking about a red flag warning that's down through Southern California, down by the border with Mexico and also into Arizona. So our wind advisory in effect, but I think this is going to be dying down overnight. Current winds were at 18 mile per hour winds in Madero. Notice for said 26 miles per hour. We're yes at 20 still in Fresno, 19 in Mendota and Los Banos. In the South Valley, notice a lot less, especially on the southeastern part of the valley. Visalia, Tulare, Porterville, Hanford, less than 10 miles per hour. Still pretty strong over in Lemoore at 17 mile per hour winds there. Notice up in the mountain areas, 31 mile per hour winds in Shaver Lake, 29 Sequoia National Park, 21 in Oakhurst, 13 in Three Rivers, and 34 mile per hour winds in Mariposa. Your four day allergy forecast brought to you by the Allergy Institute and Dr. Amaminian. It's going to be in the medium range through Tuesday. Oak, ash, and birch are the predominant pollens. And for your forecast tonight, the wind will be still up around 20 miles per hour. For Fresno, uh, there will be clear skies and also an overnight low of 43. Tomorrow, pretty close to today, a lot of sunshine. 72 will be the high, but not as much wind. Only 5 to 10 mile per hour breezes. And once the lack of wind takes hold, we're going to see a lot more warmer temperatures around here. We'll have one day to really get adjusted, 77 on Sunday, and then the temperatures get into the 80s. And it looks like all of next week. Look at Thursday. 89 degrees and mostly sunny skies. So that's uh, dangerously close to what I would have to describe as hot outside, but uh, we'll save the 90s at least for now. Guys, back to you. Let's put them off for a while. Yeah. As, as <laughs> much as we can. 80s never last long I enough, know, do they? I know, I know. And that's just about perfect in yeah. this area. So, All right, AJ, thanks. Legendary screen actor Gregory Peck is now first class forever. A postage stamp honoring the late Academy Award winning actor was unveiled today in Beverly Hills. The stamp is a still photograph from the 1962 film To Kill a Mockingbird. Peck won an Oscar for his role in the film. Actors Sidney Poitier, Sharon Stone, and Tony Danza were among the celebrities to attend the star-studded event honoring the screen legend. And we have some very happy news to pass along today. Yes, this is some news we've been, we've been waiting for for a, a couple of days. There's a new addition to the Casey family. Casey anchor and reporter Pamela Prado delivered a bouncing baby girl, and she is just adorable. Marissa Clarice Prado was born weighing in at 7 pounds, 13 ounces. She's 22 inches long, and uh, both mom and baby are said to be doing well. And... Uh, is that Big Brother holding that's her? That's Big Brother. Or? Yes, Aww. that's Big Brother. She is so cute. She took her time getting here, didn't she? She did. She did. I think <laughs> Pam, well, Pamela was wondering if it was ever going to happen. Yeah, she was ready. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to you. And that's our program for today. We'll be back at 5 with more news. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.